First thing you're going to want to do to maximize your damage here in X Defiant is to make sure that you're trying to hit headshots in the game. Every time you are in a one-on-one -on -one engagement, if you can sneak a headshot in there, you're going to get that kill a little bit faster than if you only went for body shots. The reason for that is because there is additional damage that is added when you hit a headshot. For example, with the P90, if you hit a body shot, it's 18 damage, but if you hit a headshot, it's 24 damage. So this is just something to keep in mind that you will secure kills much faster if you focus on just trying to sneak one headshot in there. Now, it's nearly impossible to only hit headshots every time you're in a gunfight, but just keep in mind that if you aim for the upper torso to head region, you'll probably sneak a headshot in there, and that's going to help you to secure those kills just a little bit faster and give you that advantage. This is also huge if you're trying to go into a multi-kill situation. If you can sneak a headshot in there on one or more of the enemies, then you're certainly gonna have an easier time finishing off those kills. This makes an absolutely massive difference in gunfights, so if you can try and work on this and practice, even going into the practice zone and practicing on the dummies and on the targets, this will help you to overall perform better every time you're in a match and increase that damage output that you're inflicting on your enemies. The next thing you're going to want to do to maximize your damage in X Defiance is to make sure that your weapons have the proper attachments, right? You want to have a good build put together for your play style and to ensure that you are set up for the maximum amount of success that you can when you're going into a match. For me, the thing that I really like to do and what I'm going to recommend for you here is to have attachments that focus on one of two things. Either one, you're gonna be focusing on ADS speed and ADS walking speed, or you're gonna be focusing on recoil control. This is mainly going to depend on the type of play style that you like to partake in. For me, I'm more of an SMG player. I like to run and gun and get up close and personal with you. So for me, I like to do more of the ADS speed, ADS walking speed versus somebody who is more of an AR player and likes to have their, their self sitting back a little farther and kind of aiming down sight over long ranges. That is somebody who may be wanting to do more recoil control. So when you're building up your loadouts, you want to pay attention to each attachment that you're putting on your gun to make sure that you're either focusing on increasing your ADS speed and ADS walking speed or focusing on your recoil control. These are really the two crucial things in my mind that are going to be really, really helpful to maximizing the damage that you can do because really at the end of the day, the most damage that you're going to do is when you're hitting your shots, right? So that's kind of the perspective that I take in this. For me, like I said, when I rock my MP7 builds, I like to maximize my ADS speed and my ADS walking speed. And to give you an example of the build that I like to use for that, I'm usually rocking the lightweight barrel, the leather wrapped front rail, a quick mag, the leather wrapped rear grip, and the lightweight stock. This build is pretty much exclusively focused on short range engagements, but as fast movement as I possibly can have, so this way I can get my gun up instantly and get the shots in as fast as possible. Now, speaking of weapons, that's the next thing you guys need to pay attention to in order to maximize your damage in X Defiant. There are a few weapons right now that are absolutely considered meta weapons and just simply using these guns and using them properly is going to increase your damage versus any other gun that's in the game. A few of those guns right now are 100% going to be the MP7, the P90, those are two really awesome SMGs right now that are super high damage. And then for assault rifles, you're gonna be looking at the ACR or the AK-47. Now, you also have the M16, I'll throw that in there as an honorable mention. That is, in my mind, a little bit more of a specialty scenario. Not everyone likes the burst fire style, but you can absolutely interchange that in this situation if you want to. But the point is, is that these weapons specifically are very, very powerful in this game. And if you combine them with the previous tips that I've already given you about hitting your headshots, having the proper attachments, and then using these guns, you are just from that scenario right there already going to be putting out more damage per shot because you're gonna be hitting more shots, you're gonna be in better engagements. Now, the next thing that you can do to maximize your damage in X Defiant is actually specific to your faction. There are two factions that I really think about when I'm thinking about damage and, and trying to be as powerful on the map as I possibly can. Those two factions are the Cleaners and the Echelon. Now, with the Cleaners, I'm literally thinking about damage because the passive ability for the factions 
is incendiary rounds, which gives you a damage over time effect. So naturally, just from playing the cleaners faction, you are getting extra damage per shot. And then on top of that, your abilities are literally focused around DPS, either your incendiary drone or your firebomb. And then for your ultimate ability, of course, you have the flamethrower. So naturally, just by playing the cleaners, you have more damage just by being the cleaners. But on the flip side, if we're thinking about the potential damage that you can do, the echelon is really where it shines. When you use the intel suit, you'll be able to consistently throughout the match know where the enemy players are. And that right there does wonders for you to maximizing your damage because now in a situation where previously you may not have known that a person was there, now you know that they are there, you can get your gun up, you can pre-aim the corner, you can know that they're coming there and get your shots in before they even know what is going on. And in my mind, if I had to pick one in this scenario, the intel would be what I would go with in terms of emphasizing more damage because you may not be physically doing more damage like the cleaners do because of their passive DOT. But with the Echelon, your potential damage is far higher because they're gonna be more aware of where the enemies are on the map. And then you combine that with everything I just previously stated, hitting more headshots, having the proper attachments on your weapon, using the meta weapons and knowing where the players are in the match, you are literally setting yourself up to get as many kills as possible and maximizing every bullet that goes out of your gun. But here's the thing, you can do all of those things that I just listed and not do this last thing, and really none of it's gonna really matter because you're not gonna be actually hitting any shots. So the last thing that you guys need to do in order to maximize your damage output in X Defiant is to recognize the fact that X Defiant works heavily on rotational aim assist and strafing. Because of the longer time to kill in this game, it is imperative that you utilize both of these features in a very effective way. If you play with a controller, it is a natural instinct to use your right thumbstick to control where your gun is aiming because that's how you look in the game. But with rotational aim assist, that is actually the worst thing that you can do because if you're only using your right thumbstick to try and aim, the aim assist isn't going to be nearly as strong when using a controller and you're going to miss shots. Simply put, you will miss shots if you're only using your right stick. Where it comes crucial with the rotational aim assist is to use your left stick. So here's my little philosophy here. Don't worry about your right stick. Use your right stick as sort of a guide. Keep it up at the mid torso level, but use your left stick in your gunfight to strafe, and that is where you're going to connect stronger with the aim assist, and it's going to allow you to lock onto those targets even better, and then when combined with everything we listed before, you're gonna have more damage output. Now, shout out to Exclusive Ace on YouTube, by the way. He made a video talking about strafing in the game and how important it is, and he was talking about how if you can actually disrupt the player you're going up against and their strafe, you'll actually win more gunfights. And what I mean by that is every gun in the game naturally has a recoil that goes up and to the right. So the way that that works is if you're firing at somebody else and your gun goes up and to the right, from their perspective, if they're going left, they're going to be matching and meeting where your gun is going with the recoil. But if you do the opposite and you actually go to the right when you're in an engagement, they're less likely to hit more shots on you and you're more likely to hit more shots on them and get the kill faster. I'm being dead serious since I watched his video, I've been doing this myself in game and it has made a huge difference for me and my personal engagements on X Defiant. So just remember to maximize your damage in X Defiant, you need to make sure you're trying to hit headshots as often as possible. Make sure that the weapons that you're using, you have the proper attachments on there to satisfy either that movement SMG build or that recoil control AR build. And then make sure you're using one of those meta weapons, whether it be in the SMG category or the AR category. Use those guns that are known to be very strong so you have more damage just from that. And make sure you pick a faction that is going to benefit you depending on your play style. I think that the potential output of damage from the Echelon is a stronger argument than using the cleaners, but if you're using an AR on a long range map, maybe the cleaners makes more sense in that scenario for you. But remember that all of that is not useful at all unless you're utilizing rotational aim assist and strafing in X Defiance because 
those are going to be the key factors to your damage output because if you're not hitting shots you're not dealing any damage so doing these things can help you to hit more shots and therefore put out more damage like this video if you guys enjoyed and check out this video on screen now to learn everything you need to know about x defiant